Wait, wait, T minus 15 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, zero. The liftoff of the Atlas V. Launching the first interplanetary mission from the West Coast. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. Continues to look good at this point in the mission. Objective pressures, pump speeds, expected regions, extra ratio, controlling within expected parameters. Physical body rates continue to look good. Mach 1. The rocket is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Current altitude is 13 miles, downrange distance 7 miles, current velocity. 1,965 miles per hour. You are looking at a live view from the Atlas V rocket. The RD-180 engine continues to burn. Flight rates continue to look good. RD-180 is still performing well. View off the steering has been completed. Continuing the throttle to 5 Gs. We are 3 minutes 50 seconds into flight and we're nearing booster engine cutoff or BECO. Back to 4.6 Gs in preparation for BECO. Boost phase cooldown has completed. And we have BECO. Shutdown looks good. And the RD-180 engine on the first stage of the Atlas V has shut down. Stage separation. We have Box and fuel pre-start, the GN2 purge firing, the RCS is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. And the second stage, nope, stage engine, the RL-10, has ignited. And we have indication of payload fairing jettison. Looks like a good step. And the payload fairing that was encapsulating the inside spacecraft has been jettisoned. The RL-10C engine, the second stage of the Centaur, continues to burn. And what is the, what is the primary science objective for, for the InSight? Well, the InSight is going to go to Mars to uh, look beneath the surface and make the first map of the inside of Mars. Uh, we're going to delineate the, the, the thickness of the crust, the size of the core, uh, the internal composition, and use those, uh, those measurements to inform our models of uh, planetary formation, planetary uh, differentiation, and, and uh, how the planets, the rocky planets, start out and perhaps understand how why some planets take a, a path that uh, uh, becomes uh, 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 a habitable planet like the Earth, and others take a path that becomes uh, uh, not habitable like, say, Venus or, or, or Mars. And just moments away from the first two CubeSats to deploy. And we have the first Marco A spacecraft separation. Centaur is now spinning up. First half of the 180-degree turn. Centaur has completed the turn. Now in an attitude hold for spacecraft separation. And we have indication of Marco B being deployed. I gain antenna and propulsion system with the goal. Centaur has begun the custom CCAM turn. 